I wonder if we saw what happened to Manchester City come in. What went wrong for Erling Haaland on the day? Because granted the service wasn't the best, but was he at his best? Just 21 touches all game. No, no, he wasn't. Uh, I, I mean, I think you probably got that same feeling. I mean, this was one of those games where for the first time in a long time, I, I thought that Manchester City were a bunch of strangers. I don't know if I said that ever, and I'm not sure how many times I'm going to say that again. Probably not many. Uh, it, it just almost seems to me like Kevin De Bruyne was forcing balls into Holland, even if the pass wasn't there. This was the time where if somebody's going to question let me put it this way. I don't think they're one dimensional because of Holland, but there are times in the game where they almost look for him too much when things aren't going well. And that's not Manchester City way of playing. We've said that before. Manchester City were successful before Holland. And I think if for some reason he wasn't available for, say, five months, not that I wish him that, I think Manchester City would be just as successful. Because the best Manchester City for me is the one that is constantly looking for solutions. And there is almost no other team that finds these incredible solution through combination plays where everybody thrives and is, is dangerous, right? Liverpool has done that in the past, but Manchester City have been tremendous with that, playing how many false nines did they have in the past. With Holland, sometimes I think they're looking for shortcuts. Don't you get that feeling? Instead of those Maybe, solutions yeah. in the bed, he is a short. Like it would be hard not to as well sometimes. Right. Well, but that's why sometimes there's going to be games where it's not necessarily that Holland hasn't played well. It is because they didn't go through the normal process of building the play and finding that perfect pass. And Kevin De Bruyne is the best at it. Bernardo Silva is very good. I think in that game he struggled because, again, I don't understand why he plays in the front three. Not saying that he can, but the last two or three times that he's played in the front three, Manchester City has not played well. Why? Because he needs to be on the ball. He's another De Bruyne in a different way. If De Bruyne doesn't see it, you bring Bernardo Silva centrally and he can beat anybody anywhere and he can find any pass anytime, right? I like it much better when he goes, you know, plays more in the midfield, by the way. So it was just one of those games where it really felt uh, like they were strangers. Speaking of one of those games for Man City, it seems to have been a few of those games now. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.